Hi, this is John Stewart. I am a radiologist and the creator of the R Scripter program. In this tutorial, we will pick up where we left off in tutorial one and explain how to dictate the findings and impressions sections simultaneously. We will also discuss the use of R Scripter smart macros and demonstrate how they are used to dictate a wide variety of reports. Returning to our CT admin and pelvis report from tutorial one, Let's remove the impression section because we no longer want to dictate this section separately within our scripter. Instead, we will use one of two keywords in our scripter that tells the program how to create the impression section using the dictated findings. The first keyword is impression new. With impression new, we tell our scripter that we want all text before this keyword to go into the findings section and all text after this keyword to go into the impression. In our example here of a four millimeter obstructing stone, we could simply add impression new period, four millimeter obstructing stone distal left ureter with hydronephrosis left kidney period. With this simple statement, we have told our scripter that all the text prior to impression new is gonna go into the findings section and all the text after Impression New will go into the Impression section. When we create the report, we will see that our scripter put the text in the Impression and also put the appropriate text in the Findings section. The second keyword is Impression Period. It works like Impression New Period except that all the text before impression period goes into the findings and impression, while the text after impression period only goes into the impression. Let's apply that reasoning to the remaining text of this report. The next finding we have is prostate hypertrophy. Let's simply add impression period to that line. Impression period. So by the logic we discussed, this text will go into the findings and impression. We did not put anything after impressions, so there'll be no additional text going into the impression section. Next, diverticulosis sigmoid colon without evidence of diverticulitis. Again, we can simply add impression period to copy that text into the impression. This finding is not important enough to include in the impression, so we will not add anything after that text. And then finally, we have the pancreatic cyst finding and we wanna to add to that the follow-up recommendations for the pancreatic cyst. Impression period. And again, we can use the knowledge base to help us uh, put in the appropriate recommendation. With that in place, we simply push the create report button and you can see both the findings section and the impression section are written simultaneously. This saves a great deal of time in avoiding dictating duplicate text in the findings and impression sections. It also becomes a more natural way to dictate when you become accustomed to this method because you can decide at the time of dictating a particular finding whether that finding is important enough to go into the impression. Let's return to the original report and add some additional findings. There is a feeding tube coiled in the distal esophagus period, impression period. This tube will require repositioning or removal period. Here I will introduce one of two commonly used modifiers. The first is critical period. This modifier tells our scripter that you recognize that this finding is a critical finding that must be called to the referring physician. If you do not include the critical modifier somewhere on this line of text, you will receive a warning by our scripter asking you to call the referring physician. So let's add that modifier now. Critical period, next line. Now let's add a common bile duct measurement. The common bile duct measures 0.4 cm in diameter period. Remember that with our scripter, we typically only dictate positive findings. Our scripter assumes that there is something wrong with the patient unless you add the modifier negative period. Let's add that modifier to this sentence. Negative period. 
new line. Likewise, if you have a pertinent negative that you want to include in the impression, you would also add negative to that statement. So let's assume that the indication for this exam was right lower quadrant pain. So after locating the appendix, I would dictate normal appendix period, impression period, negative period. By doing this, I tell our scripter that I want the statement normal appendix put into the impression, and I also want that statement classified as a negative statement. With the several additional findings, we are now ready to create the report. As before, the findings are placed in the findings section and the keywords impression period and impression new period are used to generate the impression section. Notice that even though the dictated text regarding a malposition feeding tube was at the end of the report, that finding is moved to the top of the impression. Our scripter will automatically order the impression according to the most acute findings first. We had a normal appendix which was answering a clinical question and therefore that finding is also moved to the top of the impression. If you wish to change the order of the impression, simply change a number in front of an impression item to a new number, push the Create Report button, and the impression will be reordered. During the first few days of dictating using the keywords and modifiers, you may find the R Scripter cheat sheet to be helpful. It can be found by pushing the Help button on the main R Scripter interface and then selecting the Cheat Sheet link. There's also additional information available in the Help section, including a written tutorial, a user manual, options which describe how to change the options line in R Scripter, and then releases of our scripter and the changes which occurred with each release. Let's return to the dictation window and the original report. We are now going to discuss our scripter smart macros. Before we begin, it is important to note that if you have been using macros in your dictation software, you can continue to use these in our scripter. To see a full list of available our scripter smart macros, simply click on the sections button in the R Scripter interface. On the right, you will see a complete list of available macros and how to use each macro. Note you can limit the list to a certain type of smart macro by picking the radio button at the top of the window. Let's select the abdominal smart macros. Note that there is a smart macro for common bowel duct size. If we select this smart macro, we see that the text generated will actually differ depending on the number inserted into the smart macro. For a diameter of greater than or equal to seven millimeters, a statement is placed into the impression stating that there is an enlarged common bile duct, but no common bile duct stone. If there was a stone present on the images, you would not use this macro, but instead simply dictate the finding. There is also a smart macro for pancreatic cyst or multiple pancreatic cysts. If we select this smart macro, there are several different text results depending on patient age and size of the cyst. Simply use the macro as described here, and our scripter will take care of inserting the proper text. If the cyst is atypical in any way, you would not use this macro and simply dictate the appropriate finding. Now let's insert a couple of smart macros into our dictation. For the pancreatic cyst, we could simply dictate pancreatic cyst 3.2 tail Next line. Note that for a smart macro, we do not use punctuation at the end of the sentence. So we would leave the period off the end of that sentence, which tells our scripter you are attempting to use a smart macro. Similarly, for the common bile duct, we can simply dictate CBD 0.4. Next line. With those two smart macros dictated, we can now create the report. We can see in this report that the common bile duct statement was placed into the gallbladder and bile duct section of the report. We can also see that the presence of a cyst in the tail of the pancreas was also inserted into the report, and the appropriate text was inserted into the impression along with the ACR follow-up recommendation for a cyst of this size in a patient of this age. Let's try some different reports using smart macros. This is a transabdominal pelvic ultrasound. 
The SMART macros in this case are used to insert dimensions of the uterus and ovaries as follows. Uterus 5.4, 3.6, In this case, I'm dictating the dimensions of the uterus in centimeters and the dimensions of the endometrial stripe. Again, we do not put punctuation on the end of the sentence, and we typically separate numbers with commas in the SMART macros. Next, new line, left ovary 2.3, comma 2.7, comma 3.1. Next line, right ovary 2.5, comma 3.1, comma 3.9. Next line. So with just a few words, we're able to dictate the sizes of the ovaries and essentially, this is a normal report. If I create this report, you will see it'll be filled in with the appropriate dimensions of the uterus, the endometrial stripe, and the ovaries. Now let's add an abnormal finding. Right ovarian cyst, 5.1. So this is the SMART macro for an ovarian cyst, a simple ovarian cyst. So we give the side, and then we give the dimensions in centimeters. We could give three dimensions if we wish, but I'm just gonna give one in this case. When I create this report in a 21 year old female, we simply get a statement that there's a cyst present in the right ovary, a cyst or follicle present, and that no follow-up is necessary because that is the ACR recommendations for this situation. If we go back to the original report, and I simply change this from a 21 year old to a 51 year old, you can see that the SMART macros in this case will change. Not only is there a different recommendation for ovarian cyst follow-up in a 51 year old, but our scripter is smart enough to recognize that this endometrial stripe thickness is too large for a patient of this age. Now let's look at a dictation for a morning portable x-ray. We will dictate some abnormal findings as well as use SMART macros for placement of several devices. Consolidative infiltrates in both lung bases and in the left lung apex consistent with pneumonia period, impression period. Next line, ETT 3.1. Next line, left IJ upper. Next line, right pick lower. Next line, NG stomach. Next line, old left-sided rib fractures period. Next line. You can see from this dictation that we have a description of pneumonia that we're gonna place in the impression. And then we have several statements about devices that are in place. An ETT, which we give the dimensions of the tip above the carina, the location of an IJ, a PIC line, and an NG tube. When you create that report, you can see that each finding was expanded out into the appropriate text in the findings section. And then the consolidation that we wanted to put into the impression was placed in the impression. If we go back to the original report and say this patient was just intubated and they want to know the location of the ETT, in that case, I would add this finding into the impression by simply adding impression. As before with smart macros, we do not want to add punctuation. So we would simply say impression, which would copy the ETT location into the impression. If the ETT was too high in location, the number was large, say 9.1 centimeters, and we created this report, we would actually get different text in the impression section that said that the ETT could be advanced. Now let's go back to our original report and note that I could easily dictate a comparison study into this comparison section of the report. Instead, I'm gonna use a smart macro that we designed for comparisons where I can simply dictate prior seven. What that means is that there is a prior comparison study that's the same as the current study in X-ray that was done on the seventh of the current or prior month, whichever is closer. When I create this report, you can see that the comparison study and date is placed in the report. Explore the many smart macros available in Rscriptor and feel free to modify or add your own using the customize button on the Rscriptor interface. Thanks for watching.